It's Thursday, October 15, 2015. From Studio E at Michigan State University, it's the Beaumont Bulletin. Good evening, I'm Brian Brown. No, it's okay, Brian, whatever. It's not like I'm here too. Well, I was just introducing myself. Well, maybe you should stop being so selfish and taking five months off and start being a team player like the rest of us. Damn bitch, calm down, you took out five months too. Yes, we've been gone for a few months, both of us. But we're back for another great season of bringing you the news, so let's get to it, shall we? Starting with space news, the supermoon came and went faster than a pledge during rush week, but it did provide a unique opportunity for stoner couples or stone bulls to look into each other's eyes and say those romantic words, your eyes are as red as the moon tonight, truly Shakespearean. NASA announced in recent weeks that they found sources of water on Mars. Scientists now believe that the planet is better suited for intelligent life than the state of California. Evidence of fire was also found on the surface when some lucky Martians copped my mixtape. Let's just be happy they found water on Mars. No one's refilled the rover's bowl in years. Speaking of Martians, while promoting his most recent movie, Matt Damon said that gay actors are better off staying in the closet, while gay actors said that Matt Damon should stay in Ben Affleck's closet. The dating app Tinder was recently featured in billboard ads encouraging its users and the users of Grindr to get a free STD test. The lawyers representing Tinder have fired back, saying the attacks are unprovoked and wholly unsubstantial. However, they were curious when and where someone could receive these free services and if they covered butt stuff. The New Zealand Department of Internal Affairs has denied a request for tax benefits from the Jedi Society Incorporated, stating that the organization does not advance religion or promote moral or social improvement enough to qualify. Gotta do your research when applying for tax breaks. Wookie mistake, Jedi Society. Wookie mistake. Michigan State has continued to come under fire for reports on how the university has handled sexual assault cases over the past several years. This has become a hot-button issue on campus, but with no clear plan to solve the problem. Here to discuss a clear plan to solve the problem is Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump. You, right here, pocket. I prefer to be on the far right. I'd like to thank both of you for being here tonight. Uh, we invited you, actually. You're welcome. Uh, Mr. Trump, how should the university's leadership go about combating sexual crimes on and around campus? Well, first off, Katie, I just want to say that I have never condoned sexual assault, nor have I ever sexually abused anyone. That uh, wasn't the question. I've got nothing against the sex perverts. In fact, I am huge among the sex offender demographic. They love Trump. Having said that, I still do not condone their behavior. If I want to get laid, I don't need to force someone to do me. I'm irresistible. Right now, 19 Russian females are waiting to Netflix and trill with Trump. The Firefox told me so. Mr. Trump, how would you please uh, answer the question? How should Louisiana K. Simon and the administration of the university go about ending this problem? I don't believe Louisiana K. Simon is fit to run this institution. I'd like to see her diploma. I don't think she graduated high school. She shouldn't be anywhere near a college campus. I will donate $37,000 to complete the superconductor if she shows it, but only if she shows it. Mr. Trump, if I may chime in, if you were the president of this university, what would you do to combat the issue of sexual assault? Well, Brian, I've said it a million times to your colleague over here, and I'll say it again. We need to build a wall. I would build a wall around Cedar Village, the fraternities, the male-only floors in the dorms, men's locker rooms, men's warehouse, and all televisions tuned to reruns of Two and a Half Men. It's going to be luxurious, cost-efficient, and effective. The Chinese will envy it. That makes no sense. Brian, it's been a pleasure talking with you tonight. I appreciate your honest, hard-hitting journalism, unlike that of your colleague over here. A cheap shooter. A real bomb. She's the Megyn Kelly of Telecasters. They get nothing done. It's all jokes with them. All right, I think that's enough. <laughs> Donald Trump, ladies and gentlemen. 
Call Ivanka, call a psychologist. Okay. And one more thing before we go. It's been an eventful summer. So for everyone's sake, let's do a quick recap. In rhyme. Uh, what now? Like this. Volkswagen lied, Cecil died, Carolinians got eaten, Boehner got beaten. Uh, Pluto got pics, AIDS patients got dicked. Happy birthday is free, hella Syrians flee. Ashley Madison hacked, Nikki clapped back. Clocks are now bombs, crafty Catholic moms. Queers can get hitched and Jared got ditched. All right, Dr. Seuss, that's enough. Aww. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the Bulletin to stay up to date on the latest news. And remember, news tastes better from the Bulletin.